I spend entirely too much time squinting and scrolling through the tags dialog. What if there was a tool to just click on an object to turn off its corresponding SketchUp tag? Or click on an object and isolate it by turning off all other SketchUp tags? Why don't we have something like that in SketchUp? In Condoc 5.2, I've pulled a page from the CAD playbook, introducing our new Condoc Express tools, Tag Freeze, and Tag Isolate. First, you should know that unlike SketchUp tags, you can assign multiple Condoc tags to an entity. Just select an object, like a window, then define it with level, element, location, and condition tags. No nested groups, no dropdowns. Just click to tag, click again to untag. It's that quick and easy. The beautiful thing is that Condoc tag visibility is still controlled through the familiar SketchUp Tags dialog. Even though the selected window shows as untagged in the Entity Info dialog, its visibility is affected when each of these SketchUp Tags are toggled on and off. When you organize a model with this approach, you can dissect it in meaningful ways with the click of a button. The Conduct system allows you to toggle through each level of your model and toggle through interior, exterior, and site locations. These buttons are triggering specific tag visibility states within the SketchUp Tags dialog. In turn, hiding entities with the corresponding Condoc tags. Now, when it comes to managing the visibility of building elements, like walls, doors, floors, and windows, you need more finite control while you're designing. And sifting through the SketchUp Tags dialog, it's wasting your time. That's where these new Express tools really come into play. Activate the Tag Freeze tool, then click on objects in your model to turn off the corresponding element tags. That's it. So slick and easy. Click the All Elements On button to bring the element tags back. I don't think I'll ever use the SketchUp Tags dialog again. Activate the Tag Isolate tool, then click on an element to turn off all element tags except the element tag assigned to the object. Now you know I've thought this through. And of course, both of these new tools work with the selection and keyboard shortcuts. You can add keyboard shortcuts from the Preferences dialog. You will find all of our commands by typing Condoc in the filter. This includes the Condoc system buttons. I like F for freeze and I for isolate and the backtick key to toggle all element tags on and off. Let's give it a try. Select a few objects, then hit the F key to turn off all element tags within the selection. Tap the backtick key to toggle all element tags on. Next. I'll select a door, floor, wall, and window. Then hit the I key to isolate the selected element tags. In other words, turn off all element tags except those within the selection. The new Condoc Express tools keep your eyes on the design and out of the tags dialog. Stop squinting, scrolling, and straining in search of tags. Instead, just click on your model. Learn more and start a free seven day trial at condoctools.com. Have you heard about the SketchUp 3D Summit going off in Denver this June? It's a small conference in Denver for design professionals looking to ascend to the peak of their SketchUp workflow. Join me and seven other SketchUp authors and experts teaching cutting edge workshops about design and documentation, AI and workflow automation. We'll also be hanging out at night. Don't miss dinner with the SketchUp team on Monday and the virtual ascent happy hour at my office on Tuesday followed by our own comedy show next door. Don't miss your chance to elevate your skills and network with the best. Learn more and reserve your spot now at this link. I'll see you at the summit or check out our latest upload here. It's more interesting than whatever you're supposed to be working on. Let's keep goofing off. Hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment before you leave. I'll see you soon.